Hey everybody, so just a quick kind of disclaimer. Um, I'm not terribly happy with how this video uh, is, has come out. Um, so just to kind of let you in on a little fast forward. <sighs> Bottom line up front, uh, I got these new uh, SD card holders to hold my SD cards uh, while I'm out on the trip. And so on the at the beginning of day four, so at the end of three days of hiking, um, I was switching out the SD card uh, from my GoPro. Now, um, the way I kind of shoot film is I will shoot with both my Canon M50 and then my GoPro. And the GoPro is mainly for my B-roll, establishing shots, underwater, obviously, uh, and that kind of thing. So a lot of the walking shots um, are going to come from this bad boy. So I was taking the, the micro SD card out of this to put in a new one. And I, so I'm taking my SD card and putting it into these little slots here. And you can see that uh, now I understand the cards only go in one way. Beginning of day four, uh, I was in a little bit of a rush, not fully awake. Uh, my brain was not uh, firing on all four cylinders. And uh, yeah, I have a four cylinder brain. And so I'm trying to put it in backwards and it's not going in. So what do you do when something doesn't fit? Well, you apply more force, right? Get in there! I put it in there and the thing just snaps. And so I'm just like, uh. So I don't know a whole lot about it, but I've learned about it since then. Um, snapping an SD card or cracking an SD card is really, really bad. Uh, so I actually uh, sent it off to a data recovery company and they had it for a few days, took a look at it, tried to do the best they could, and footage is gone. So I lost three days of footage, which included all my B-roll. Uh, it included some amazing, uh, what? well, actually I never saw it, so I assume it was amazing, but amazing uh, time lapses uh, from Linville Gorge. Um, just missed a whole bunch of stuff. So very disheartening, definitely a lesson learned. It also happened to be a 256 gigabyte uh, card, so a little pricey. Uh, so it ended up being a very costly mistake. So I'm not going to take up any more time explaining it, but um, just understand that this first episode's going to suck a little extra. Um, it's going to have more of me talking, less B-roll, uh, not quite the style that I'm happy with, but it's what I got. So hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. <music> Another adventure. So uh, Joe and I um, decided we were going to do uh, our last big um, kind of shakedown, if you can even call it a shakedown, a 75 mile shakedown of, uh, for our JMT trip this summer. Uh, it's going to be six days, um, but we're going to be doing uh, the Mountains of Sea Trail segment four. So we parked uh, our car, uh, my car, Joe and I carpooled, uh, we're parked at Beacon Heights uh, and then Mark Thompson, uh, the world's best shuttle driver. I'm stealing that one from Pete. Sorry, Pete. Um, but Mark uh, is also on YouTube. Uh, check him out on Instagram. Um, he is proof that you don't need a fancy camera to make 
amazing photography. Uh, he just got an eye. Uh, his YouTube videos are fantastic to watch, so definitely check him out. Um, but he shuttled us down here to Black Mountain, so Joe and I are going to hang out here at Black Mountain for the night, and then the trail is actually right on the other side of the of the river. Uh, so we're going to head out first thing in the morning and get to hiking. But uh, Mark is probably going to join us at some point over the weekend, probably in the next day or two. Um, unfortunately, life gets in the way of living sometimes, and so he's got to work. But uh, but Mark's going to be out on, on the trail with us for most of it. So looking forward to it. We'll see you out there. Good times. And we're off. Had a pretty good night here in uh, Black Mountain Campground. Got just a beautiful morning. I'm not going to speak for Joe, but I can, I can say I'm just a little like nervously apprehensive about this trail, or at least this segment. We've got roughly 75 miles <coughs> of pretty, pretty tough terrain. Uh, lots and lots of rugged. Uh, trail ups and downs and um, there's really not going to be an easy day but uh, we've got 14 ish miles on the docket for today and uh, just looking forward to seeing the scenery it's supposed to be a tough tough section but but equally beautiful so looking forward to it good times This trail does not disappoint. So we're about an hour or so in, and uh, just an exquisite morning. But we just looked up to our left, and I'm pretty sure that peak up there is Mount Mitchell, which is almost the end of segment three. So whenever we do segment three, we'll hit that, but I think we're having some good times. Singe Cat Overlook at our old friend, the Blue Ridge Parkway. He was like the second cousin of the Mountains of Sea Trail. They, they go a lot of the same places. Uh, maybe an hour and a half, or no. Hour and a half, two hours, or two and a half hours. Math is hard, man. <clears throat> two and a half hours. And uh, making pretty decent time. Just beautiful, taking it all in. Good times. We left the gloves over years. Thought you wanted them. We made it to uh, Buck Creek Gap. And uh, once again, back on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And it's 7.7 miles for the day. And uh, we're just over three hours. So decent, I guess a decent pace. But uh, there isn't a reliable water source for probably the next 10 miles. And so yesterday, people photobombing my videos, man. But, uh, so it's about 10 miles to the next reliable water source. So we actually, on our way to Black Mountain Campground yesterday, we dropped a water cache here. So I'm really hoping it's still there. Because if it's not, things are gonna get interesting. Agua, baby. Agua. Looks like the patch held too, that's good. Can't duck it. Seven or so miles left for the day. And uh, my brother was kind enough to agree to carry that water for the rest of the day, which I think is very generous of him. 
Good times. <laughs> right, good times. All cameled up. Joe has got a very high speed, expensive piece of uh, water carrying equipment. We don't look like gypsy wagons <laughs> at all. Good times. <laughs> haven't gone too far since our camel spot but as Joe said I don't think we're gonna find a nicer lunch spot than this for the day up on a ridge Beautiful. lunch time <clears throat> just enjoying lunch and uh, since my last video where uh, I announced that my brother and I were Excuse me, where I announced that my brother and I were doing the JMT. I was talking about stickers on my bear canister. And uh, since that video, a handful of people have actually sent me stickers, which is pretty awesome. Um, but as I look at it, you know, sometimes, sometimes hiking out here, uh, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. And so sometimes, sometimes it's hard. And so you gotta have the right mindset to get through those times. If you've ever run a race, or in a River King Pete's case, if you've ever swam a race, um, you know that having people cheer you on is a, is a big motivator. It really helps out. And um, that's what it feels like looking at all these stickers. You know, all, all these hiking and paddling friends that, that I have made along the way, it's like y'all are all out here with me. So that's pretty cool. So <sighs> thank you very much for all the stickers. It makes me hits me in the feels and uh to pete sorry i couldn't resist uh, love you brother good times <laughs> mentioned earlier that hiking was not all rainbows and unicorns figure I would at least film the aftermath of one of those moments. This came up a ever so gradual uphill. I had to stop at one point to catch my breath. But the uh, MST guy describes this segment as rugged and spectacular. So we just went through a rugged part. Good times. We are definitely out of rainbows and unicorns. That was, we just finished coming up to the top of this ridge. And it was like we just came straight up the contour line. Not for the faint of heart. I stopped more times than I can count. I'd get like 100 feet, if that and have to stop again. So, we're up at the top of the ridge now. Some f fantastic views, but we definitely had to work for them. About a mile and some change to camp. <sighs> Still having good times. Well, we made it to camp. We have different devices telling us different mileages. MST guide is saying we're at mile 14.2. Um, I think my Garmin said 15 and a half. Um, I, we're, we're, we're in that zip code. But um, guaranteed the last two to two and a half miles was um, a significant emotional event. <clears throat> we, uh, we went up Woods Mountain and uh, I mean, just straight up. I mean, just a brutal climb. And uh, got up to the top of Woods Mountain, and then it was about three quarters of a mile down. And uh, there was there was one part of the downhill where I actually had to turn my feet sideways because I was afraid I was going to slip. But we made it. So this is um, this is home for the night. We uh, we have not had the energy to do anything other than sit here. 
So and that <laughs> it's like three o'clock, so we got time. But uh, there's just n there's no gas left in the tank for the day. So it's early, but we're done. But Joe had one beer left over from last night and he carried it up and he just cracked it and I was like well played sir he had to, he had to carry it up here though so it's it's his to drink <laughs> I've got my Gatorade and uh, that's just gonna have to be enough but we're gonna chill out and then uh, at some point set up some shelters and go from there good times cheers mm -hmm. Castle run in less than 12 parsecs. <laughs> okay, so camp set up. Durston, Big Agnes, brother. But um, we uh, we got into camp, and both of us literally just passed out on the ground. We didn't. I I think I had my hat. Uh, under my head, but as far as like pillow or blanket, like we just out, we were zonked. But uh, mustered enough energy to throw some tents up, and it's dinner time now. And uh, my brother's still kind of tweaking his uh, cook system, at least for the um, dehydrated stuff. What's this stuff called again? The 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 insulation. Insulation. The insulation. I can't remember what it's called. My brain's fried. But this uh, this space age stuff to make the the koozie from. But um, Joe, this is why I like hanging out with my brother. I don't know if you can with the glare if you can see it. It's good. Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's a ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. My brother and I tolerate each other's humor, but that's pretty funny. But it looks like something the astronauts would use if they were to go camping. But uh, chilly tonight, Snickers for dessert, and then bed soon after. We got we had a tough day today, and we've got an equally tough day tomorrow. Um, uh, we're going up to uh, Dobson's Knob or Dobson Knob. I don't know if it's possessive or not, but Dobson Knob. Uh, Mark might be meeting us. Uh, tomorrow night. It sounds like he will. If not, he'll meet us Monday morning and he's going to hike the rest of the hike with us, which is pretty cool. So, looking forward to that. But, dinner time. Good times.
Like a glove. Like a glove. <sighs> Day two of our adventure. Our packs are significantly lighter than they were when we pulled into camp yesterday because we were carrying probably each I had three and a half liters I think Joe had something similar but a lot of water um, there's no real water around here but uh, and we were just smoked that was the last part of the day yesterday was rough but uh, we're on the trail now and headed downhill to uh, a creek it's probably about two and a half three miles we'll uh, filter some water and that'll get us through the day hopefully but we've got probably the better part of 15 miles um, I think the guide says like 14.8 or something like that so it's gonna be another tough day the first part of the day probably the first 10 miles is uh, just kind of short short ups and downs um, right now a lot of downhill but we're gonna have about a five mile climb to finish out um, so that'll be uh, that'll be interesting we seem to time these excruciating uphills for the second part of the day when we're when we're not fresh but uh, it's just I'm very very content being out here I've replenished my supply of rainbows and unicorns so we're good there and uh, we're just heading on good times Whew. had a considerably long downhill it's pretty much all downhill for the last hour so the knees are getting their work in early but we we're coming through it seemed like poison ivy hell um there's just poison ivy all over the place so it was like walking through like the mission impossible laser field trying to dodge it but now we're down at south fork of tom's creek i believe is the name of it i think we're gonna maybe get some water and then he's on good times Made it to Tom's Creek. Um, we found a log over there to uh, cross. And uh, my brother's a spider monkey, so he just walked across. But I am not brave enough, so I did it on all fours and did not put it on camera. Damn it, I missed it. Intentionally did not film that. It was not my most graceful moment. But uh, Tom's Creek is, that's a spot. This will be a spot to come back to because beautiful, uh, beautiful creek. And then there's a decent sized uh, campsite over here. So uh, yeah, we're gonna fill up on water and then ease on. Good times. Crossing uh, Highway 221, a little bit of Frogger, but uh, we made it. A little dose of civilization before we, before we head back into the wilderness. It's a little roadside park back there. We uh, dumped our trash, it wasn't much, but ounces count and uh, these and all good times Joe made the comment earlier but we are not accustomed to having such a beautiful day I know that's probably the wrong thing to say because the weather gods are gonna be like oh I got something for you but it is an absolutely exquisite spring day. The sun is shining and all the flowers are in bloom right now. The mountain laurel, everything. It's just, I don't have the words for it. It's just beautiful. We're gonna be coming up to the Catawba River in a few miles and uh, crossing that. And then that's when the real work's gonna begin. <sighs> Good times. All right, made it to the Catawba River. It, the level is definitely down, you can tell, but I'd say there's enough here to uh, put a paddle in the water, but just beautiful, beautiful stretch. Almost as beautiful as this uh, fantastic bridge because this would not be fun uh, getting across on our own, but I think we're gonna stop for lunch 
and then uh, hit the trail. Good times. Well, we just had a long lunch break, but well worth it. We uh, both took a dip. Joe doesn't smell as bad anymore, so that's good. I like to think that this climb that we've got coming up is worse in our minds than it actually is, because we've kind of been building it up in our heads. But that's our, uh, that's our obstacle for the day. We've been cruising for most of it, so it's time to get to work. Good times. Rugged and spectacular is how they describe segment four. So far, it has been rugged and it has been spectacular. But I have a feeling in the next mile to two miles, we're gonna be using up all of our rainbows and unicorns. It's been about uh, just a little under two miles um, since the Catawba River, and it's been a pretty steady but gentle ascent. So the trail is gonna go up and then cut to the left, and then I don't know how, how well it's gonna show up on camera, but this draw, you can barely see, is where the trail goes, and then we're going all the way to the top of that knob. So, <laughs> good times. You watch them. I watch them. Well, I figured I would say this while I've still got air in my lungs. Holy smokes, look at that. I know, I was gonna say, he's not bad behind the seat. Very cool thing just happened, but we couldn't stop to dwell. But uh, I just got to see my first bear in the wild. I never, as many nights as I've spent outside, I've never seen a bear. But it was a baby bear at the top of a tree. And calling its mama. Yeah, he's calling his mom. We're like, you know what? I'm not really sure where mom is, but I'm not gonna wait and find out. So we just kept moving. But at least gotta, we'll see if it was a decent shot. But very, very cool. Whew. And just taking in that vista behind us. Holy smokes. Beautiful. Very good times. Wow. I don't I don't honest, I don't have any other words for it. Just wow. It's been a challenging climb, but I mean, are you kidding me? Holy smokes, absolutely incredible. We're, uh, we've still got a fair amount of climbing to do. We're not even close to being done, but fortunately these views are spaced out periodically. So that's my excuse for stopping. Still good times. We're not done yet, but we're closer than we were. We've made it up all the switchbacks and we're just kind of working our way up the ridge line to the, to the knob now. But uh, just, these views don't quit. This is uh, all the fingers of Lake James, um, which is uh, humbling when you think about how big Lake James is. And here we are looking at a decent section of it. But we've come up, I don't even know, a lot. I think we're at like 3,200 feet of elevation right now. And we came from the Catawba River. I didn't look at the elevation where we were there, but a significant amount. We got about a mile, maybe 1.8 miles left for the day and still a lot of climbing. So we're not done by any means, but just beautiful, good times. Made it to the top, 3,000. 640 feet of sea level. Oh. Holy smokes. The only easy day was yesterday. <laughs> but we're on the downhill slope now. And <clears throat> hopefully it stays that way to camp. About a mile, mile and a half to camp. And a very well-deserved 
much needed rest. Whew. Good times. Well, we made it to camp for day two and met up with trail angel, shuttle driver, hiking buddy, Mark. And holy smokes, as he... <laughs> I have no words for this man. He is way up there in my books already. So he uh, he drove to a parking area. Um, this is technically a trailhead, but you can't drive to it. So he hiked 1.6, 1.7 miles with ice, with malt beverage, and desserts. Are you are you kidding me? Holy smokes! This guy's awesome. But uh. Yeah, very, uh, very much looking forward to hiking with him for the rest of the time. But uh, yeah, we're gonna chill out and enjoy. Good times. Okay, I, I've had hammocks here and the boats mostly. But I'm always, you know, tight. Tomorrow is the, the big epic day yep. of views, for sure. And I, I don't know where you'd planned on camping at. Um, if you do 14 miles tomorrow, I think you're looking at right off, short off. Yeah, I mean, I had planned for tomorrow to be like a shorter day. Like, okay. So it'll be an easy day. No. <laughs> yeah, I, the, I, the climb up short off, I remember being um, and I, noticeable. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, yeah. That, that's like Good way it. Put it. looking yeah. at the elevator. All right, so one of the things that uh, our trail angel brought was uh, cake. So we're eating cake uh, out in the woods. Uh, he brought carrot cake and uh, German chocolate cake. And German chocolate cake happens to be my all time favorite cake. Like, it's just amazing. I've had it since <clears throat> every year. My mom makes me a German chocolate cake for my birthday because she knows how much I like it. So that's my affinity with, with German chocolate cake. So obviously I'm having that. Um, having another cold brew. But um, my brother, He's he's got his dad jokes, and uh, I don't know. Do you want to do you want to say it yourself, or do you want me to to explain it? It's okay to talk. Use your words. It has to be spontaneous. <laughs> this this is spontaneous. This is YouTube. Go ahead. All right. So, the mountain laurel have been blooming out here. Mm -hmm. The rhododendrons have been blooming out here. I mean, it's been uh, it's been a spring fest since we got out here, and the quarterback trees. Have been blooming as well. I'm not familiar with quarterback trees. What are quarterback trees? So you should trees? ask me what a quarterback tree. Those are what I, I, I call them that because they're so popular. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> what he doesn't know is that I've actually copyrighted the term good times. And so I'm going to be uh, sending him a cease and desist letter for using my trademark. <laughs> I know where you live. Isn't there a show? <laughs> but. Like German chocolate cake and beer after hiking a very difficult last five miles, definitely good times. Day two is in the books. I think it's, I think it's what they call hiker midnight. Um, uh, Joe and I are zonked. It's been a good day of hiking, but <laughs> I'm tired. So we're gonna go to bed, it's, uh, it's a whopping eight o'clock. And at some point, either tonight or tomorrow, we're gonna get a little bit of rain, but tomorrow is supposed to be pretty epic. Um, we're gonna be going uh, into Linville Gorge. And I've been, this is gonna be kind of a highlight of the trip for me. I've been really looking forward to it. Um, I've never actually been to Linville before. So this will be my first time experiencing it. I'm uh, buckling up for some tough hiking, but <laughs> nothing we haven't done before, right? Only easy day was yesterday, but <clears throat> I'm gonna hit the sack early and uh, do it all again tomorrow. Good times. <laughs>